Okay, in today's uh, lesson we're going to talk about introduction to equations. This is the first section of the course that's really going to deal with the concept of an equation. Uh, this is really starting to get into the beef of algebra, so from this point on we're going to really be hitting the algebra hard and heavy. Some of these concepts can seem kind of difficult or new to understand at first, but I promise if you stick with me it's going to be simple because this stuff really isn't that hard. If you can add 2 plus 2 you can, you can do this. Okay, so in the first part here, we're going to talk a little bit about what an equation is. I'm going to write a few things on the board, and we're going to talk about them, uh, talk about, and see if they're equations or not. What if you have something that looks like x equals 2? And I ask you the question, is that an equation or not? And the answer to that is yes, it is an equation. And why is it an equation? Basically, an equation has an equal sign in it. Think of it that way. If it has an equal sign in it, it is an equation because equation, um, the word equation, equation has kind of the word equals in it. Okay, something has to equal something else. In most cases, you're going to have a variable or some terms with with several you know variables in them equal to something else, and the the stuff on the right can be other variables or numbers or whatever. And remember, the term x is just a letter used to represent a number. But if it has an equal sign in it, is it is an equation. Now, what if we have something like seven x is less than eight? Is that an equation? By the definition that I've used so far, this is not an equation, so I'm going to put no. It does tell us something useful. I mean, this is telling me that whatever x is, if I multiply it by 7, the answer is less than 8. So it's telling me something, but there is no equal sign anywhere in there. So it is not an equation in the strict definition of the word. What about x plus 7 equals 0? Is that an equation? Yes because it has an equal sign. And this equation is telling me that I have some number x, and whenever I add it to 7, I'm going to get 0 as an answer. And finally, what about 1 plus 1 equals 3? And I included this one on purpose because it's kind of goofy. Um, obviously, 1 plus 1 actually isn't equal to 3. But this is an equation. Whether or not this is a true statement or not, is left up for you to decide, you know, in your problems. You know, if you were to solve this, you would say 1 plus 1 is 2, and this is not equal to 3. But this thing here that I wrote on the board has an equal sign in it, and for our definition and the definition of most textbooks, it is therefore an equation. Uh, although it may be incorrect, but it is an equation. So let's move on. Now that we kind of know what an equation is, and equations are pretty much the bread and butter of algebra. You're going to deal with equations everywhere. It pretty much algebra is the study of how to solve equations. And equations are useful to calculate all kinds of things. To generate a shopping list, you can write an equation to solve solve for the motion of a of a of a softball, you know, uh, flying through the air if you throw a softball and it lands somewhere. Well, this path is described by an equation. It's a parabola. It's described by an equation. Um, when you drop something off the leaning tower of Pisa here, like this, and it falls to the ground, and it speeds up. Well, the speed of this thing, as it speeds up, as it comes close to hitting the ground here, um, that speed, that function, is um, can be represented by an equation. So nature, I mean, nature, for better or worse, is is really able to be described by equations, at least the part of nature we can we can interact with. Uh, and that's why they're important. So let's dive into some of these equations and, and get going. Um, in this part of, of what we're going to do here, um, we're going to say x plus 2 is equal to 3. And then I'm going to write a number over here, and I'm going to say x equals 1. And the goal of these problems is, let's figure out if x equals 1 is a solution to this equation. In other words, here is an equation. I've told you that whatever x is, it's some number. And when I add it to 2, I should get a number 3. This is the equation. x can be nothing else other than the number that when you add it to 2 is equal to 3. And here, I'm going to give you a number, and we need to figure out if this number is a solution to the equation. So let's figure that out. The way you do that is you can plug in x is equal to 1 into this equation, and then we'll solve for both sides, and we'll see if they're equal. 
and this is trivially easy. Let's plug in x is equal to 1. 1, because x is equal to 1, plus 2, and I'm going to put equal sign with a question mark, 3, to remind us that we're supposed to evaluate. 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 is indeed equal to 3, so yes. This is a solution to that equation, and it, it is the only solution to that equation. There is no other number I can put in here to make this valid. Okay?